guys, this is Javors, it's my other Friday, new video and today I'm gonna talk about the responsibility towards selecting songs, how to persuade artists to get involved into your project, the Eurovision brand and how Big Five is responsible not even for their own selection but for lots of rests and that's the reason why I'm criticizing as well. So. If you're interested in those things, please share, like, subscribe this video, this channel is full of interesting content thanks to you already and I'm super glad that you're sharing and subscribing like mad, I didn't expect this and I'm super glad that you are doing and you're interested in it. So shall we go to the new topic, My Friday. Alright guys. Selecting the songs, how to persuade artists to get into your process, this is always the hardest things, but as well essential as the artists are making this thing alive. It's not songwriters, it's not producers, it's for sure the artists who are performing on the stage. They're at the front pages, we all know their names, we know everything about them and with the if they just don't do anything right or we don't do anything right the first thing is the artist's name before or after but definitely in the center of all of those topics around and they of course know it because they're investing their brand into your kind of project even it's about them and lots of them when we started in 2015 actually they didn't want to take part at Eurovision because they didn't, didn't trust the brand they didn't trust the brand and in 2020 we got 70 times more people who really wanted who really wanted like they asked us if they can do it by sending the songs and we didn't have to persuade that much people to do it even some of them wanted to be persuaded and some of them decided not to send a song anyway but that's another story but let's get me back 2015 slash 2016 which was the time when I started and just give just you know we're able to get new experience how this works and maybe after this what I'm gonna say you will just understand why sometimes I criticize some countries or criticize big five countries for what they're doing because you know I was doing it I was doing it I know how to do it I know how to do my job and I know it, what's possible I know what's possible in a small country and that means it's definitely possible in a big one in 2000 15 when I started uh, we asked for songs and we were working with one of the producers who who was involved as well you know the matador of Czech music industry whatever and you realize that without the passion towards the project without your own trust towards the project without your own vision towards the project it can't really work so you only want people in your team who are trust or who trust the project who trust Eurovision who trust the vision who trust it can really make difference that we can be successful in such a project and then the project it's not bullshit it has a lot of its pluses you know to to be involved in it and the reason why to take it seriously and you know this so-called Matador just told me that it's impossible to find good music in here, relevant and and actually that kind of year or you know that time it wasn't easy but definitely it wasn't impossible. I would rather say that the market wasn't really ready because no one ever wanted something from the market and big talents which were there or yet to be there or you know try to be there resigned a lot about what what's really possible with this and I think those people those elder ones or older ones or you know 
30 years in the industry once. They exactly knew how to do it, so they completely actually took the excitement from those people and probably saving their own businesses. So that wasn't really working with me, so, so we say goodbye to each other and we established something else, but and we actually had a luck to have I don't know, like five songs. One of it was really, really, really good. We almost signed it, and then we just find out it's completely against the rules with their with its release date, and we were you know kind of being lied by this band and the management, which was really, really sad. But it opened our eyes that we anyway want to be successful and we asked international songwriters and producers to help us out and they did and they sent really great songs I think or very good ones especially in the comparison what we were able to to get from here and how how the brand was taken or threatened here by people and we after all decided to have I stand song and Gabi Gunchikova and the, we, we were we were cooperating with Sarah and Christian Snyder and Sarah Biglard. It was great great experience because it was the first time we were actually did something like this, especially an entertainment show like this to have international cooperation. And everybody was like, how was that even possible? I don't, I think it was quite easy because we just wrote on Facebook we are open to it and we did and it was the best possible decision that time I think of course if I just can apply my experience from what I have now I would do everything very differently but you know that's the process that that's the step building that's the fundaments you are you are building and there must be a really really solid heart and it of course takes time but after this experience we continued with this as it was much easier for us especially it was hard because we were always asked you know and that's why the role of big five countries especially UK and France is very important in this process we were asked a lot of times a lot of times I even remember one call when I was in London actually by working something and for, for Strictly Come Dancing and I had this call with, with another artist from Czech which I really want to get involved in in the process and motivate this person to send some song or even just think about it and I was exactly said this you know I'm watching French French music scene and you know they don't really like this format they just don't do it right and everybody's laughing about it and it's definitely not that serious as what you said and after this i heard it many many times it was mostly france or the uk and you know i didn't know how to answer those questions and after a few years i just realized it doesn't really matter if they're doing it right or not if we are doing it but the thing is that if those countries just take it seriously and do their job right like we did here they can really help the whole other countries to pick their best artists or put up the more relevant competition from Eurovision I think that's really really important that this project is more and more serious and less and less joke because it can be fun anyway you know there are many genres funny songs but you know the quality rise the top quality must be there and doesn't really necessarily matter that the biggest stars should get involved you know in Czech Republic the biggest stars if, if I just say this they're mostly singing in Czech and in here and it's definitely almost the same genre all the time it's not definitely relevant and the people who are who wants to do international quality music suffers from this so the Eurovision is relevant for them. It's definitely different from France, which most of the even stars are singing as well in their own language, but it's more acceptable. It has this international appeal. It speaks to us differently. It's like Italian. It just works better and it's more diverse by styles. It sounds better. So it's not this problem, but the thing is that even 
if you have such market, which is you know one of the biggest markets in the world, you're not doing the job really, really right. You're not doing a terrible job, you know, let's say it like this. But you can do much, much better. And you know, much better you do, much better it's gonna be visible everywhere, not just at your own market, but even in our markets and in the markets in other smaller countries, because the people of course watches or watching your market and you can really do great things with the brand as we did in here for the brand because it was extremely hated and now let's say artists who really wants to do something with their career and are or they want to go international or try try it to go international they are going with us because they feel it's a fair competition it's a competition so they see how really good other artists are we are playing fair so we we play out all the cards where we have no secrets you know we really open our arms towards the music industry and its artists because that's something what television doesn't do you know especially I think Eastern European ones really huge problem with this and their music industries are operated by people who are not that great but you're probably kind of afraid of them and lots of friendships as well which I don't think it's really good for a competition and television is definitely not here for making friends but to be a relevant partner I think that's very very important it's something what i wanted to change with my team in here and i think we did and that even we brought some other professionals for different countries in here just to make it even better and even more trustworthy to make it even more professional every year i think if the big countries just copy what we did in here every step what we do how we do it how we do it especially how we do it you know like how we personally did contacts how we personally said everybody what's our vision what's our idea how, where we want to drag the project how the project is really important to artists and it is not just because 200 million people watching it but that's as well the so big amount of number which which is relevant then even in the bigger country like france uk germany you can rise those numbers even upper you know and if you just do the best possible job you will influence other markets that they will want to watch it as it's you you're just make it more relevant like Champions League final, you know, that should be it actually and you are automatically in this final so you have the biggest Responsibility as well. You have the biggest markets and you have the most biggest or the biggest Budgets or bigger budgets much bigger budget than we do for it and as well you have much more valid or divers or even the qu average quality, better markets, which where, where you can grab those people. And it's actually quite easy. I think the TVs mostly suffer from how to, how to find those people and they're hiring people or they're hiring brands to do it for them. But actually now it's much easier and I really prefer, it's much better if you do it with your team alone because you are working with them and then they're sharing the message that it really worked and you're influencing them you know you're influencing those people that they will spread the message that it really made sense that that it's super important thing and you know nowadays you're just open spotify you just use this little bastard you know for finding thousands of artists artists you wouldn't know before just because they're normally not in TV because TV just always brings in only the people they know which especially is horrible in here in the COVID situation that almost no TV especially the public broadcaster didn't do anything for 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 artists and especially the artists who are not in this you know everybody knows them level which I don't understand and I will be crit I will criticize it all the time and that's the critique I'm shooting my own leg kind of as well but that's that's what pisses me off as well you now can use this little thing open the Spotify or another streaming media but on Spotify I'm not paid for them of course you know my numbers are not that high and they don't need to 
work with me like this but when you use Spotify and you're opening new playlist and you're just write the name of the playlist like the national accord you know like UK or F R A or France or Czech or CZ or SK for Slovenia or for Slovakia or SLO for Slovenia or just you, you just write down name of the country it will automatically generate you options options to add songs and you if you just go and rotate those options you will just find hundreds of people maybe thousands in bigger market which are relevant and you never heard of them it can be talent with just one song and you then can just you know contact this person through this because there are all the contacts are there you can contact this person and say hey why did you drop it or are you working on something new or can we just hear you somewhere somewhere live or can we just meet over coffee and this is how you build it this is how you build it it's old school but it works it's the same like you know we're all watching football without funds nowadays and it doesn't really work and you know we saw junior eurovision without funds it doesn't really work it worked as a program it's the last resort but it doesn't work without the audience without the contact and we can do over Skype meetings and over Zoom interviews. It's great, but it doesn't really work that well as, as we can talk, you know, eye to eye, because then you can feel the person. And that's really important. That is the more, the most, or the biggest advice from me to you guys who are doing Eurovision as a producer. So you must, you know, go and see those people live they must trust your ideas they might they might they must believe your fascination your your energy they must believe into the project they must believe you will do maximum you can at the time to help them out and you must be as well professional it's gonna be the same in in france it's gonna be the same in czech republic but in france you have more responsibility for it i know your artists will tell you I don't need it the market is great but the Czech person will tell you or Czech artist can tell you I don't want to do it because in France the, the like the good artist doesn't want to do it and you, you you hear the difference that's a big difference it's a huge difference so you have a much bigger and higher responsibility and you have to go to your market because if you don't do it this way if you just do it like outsourcing it or it's not transparent or it's not relevant you know it's not really relevant of what the what the music industry is about in your country especially if you have such industry like you have in france or in the uk they will not trust you and it's gonna be harder for you to maintain such relationship and that's what you need to do and we all need you to do it we for sure need it as you can grow the whole brand you know make it more prestigious make it more competition wise more relevant for artists for journalists for everyone you know i have enough of eurovision being talk like a joke and with some relevant things you know i really want it to be competition that everybody just can't wait to see it because they will see something they've never seen before and they won't laugh about it they will be just shocked how good it is and that's i think the next step that's the goal we should do but we will never do it without you big countries. It's impossible. We can do whatever in here and we can make it more relevant and we can even do much more for our own artists and make them more relevant and make them shine and help them shine in Europe and you know, go into your markets and be competition for your own artists and they can do it. It's harder, but they can. I think Eastern Europe is full of great talents and we all need to maintain the fair game as then even the, be the you know the best talents will show up because they will feel the opportunity is real is realistic and that will that circle of quality will just move in a big wheel which will drag us all upper higher better and that's what I want from Eurovision. That was my goal. It's not a fun perspective. I'm watching it always in a much wider angle from different perspective. 
you know, I'm looking what what's happening now will affect us in two, three, four years and thinking about it. Um, it's not the same perspective as a fan, even I'm a fan of Eurovision, but I'm as well a producer and somebody who wants to change or make the Eurovision bigger and greater. And now I'm using this channel for it. We'll see what I can do in the future. But now I do this. That's better than nothing. And I'm really glad that you're listening. So I will be glad if you're just share, listen, like it, ring the bell as well for a new thing because they will, they will be upcoming. And because this is last mile on Friday before Christmas, I would like to wish you Merry Christmas. I would like to wish you to stay safe and healthy, have fun, have smiles on your face. Don't, don't let yourself drag into any drama and just enjoy because this year was fucking crazy. Thank you for watching.